Hello everyone, Kirby Volt here, and welcome back to Let's Play Shantae Half Genie Hero. Yes, welcome back, even though as you see in the title, there is a number one at the top of this episode. This technically comes right after episode 16 of Let's Play Shantae Half Genie Hero, because uh, Shantae had some problems happen, and she's now kind of uh, in the middle of some dark times. But hey, what are friends for? This is Friends to the End. It is the second uh, DLC mode that was initially introduced back in 2017. And it is going to tell a story about how we're going to get Shantae out of that darkness. So, let's go! Gather round, kids! It's time to test out my latest invention. I call it the Dynamo. What's it do, Uncle? I'll demonstrate. Watch closely. So, if you just came here from episode 16, this should all be a little familiar. One is made of dark magic, and the other is made of light magic. When brought together, the crystals will generate energy, which this machine collects and stores for future use. And another nice little thing about this particular mode is that Roddy Tops, Bolo, and Sky all have voices to call their own. Huh? And in fact, feature me if you could, in editing, uh, put the, uh, all their voice actors up there, because uh, they all deserve some major shouts outs, and unfortunately I don't remember the one name of them right now, but the other, everyone else should get their due credits. Precisely! But what's the electricity used for, Uncle? Why, to help you protect Scuttletown, of course! We'll use this contraption to light up the town day and all night! 24 hours a day to keep pirates at bay! <laughs> Gosh, you think it could really work? Of course it will! I followed the blueprints to the letter! Oh, was that was that on the blueprints? I don't like the looks of that! What happens? <laughs> it's you. Yeah, and in one universe you're like you have black hair? And also Shanty, weren't you wearing blue? Okay, whatever. Queen of the seven seas. Sorry to drop in unannounced, but it's time I give you all a demonstration of my own. Keep your eyes on the half genie brat. What did you do to her? Isn't it lovely? I've inverted her magic. But the machine wasn't designed for such a purpose. How could. Fool, don't you see? You were building my machine all along. You, you and he would fiend! You switched the blueprints on me! Ah, don't look so glum. What you built for me is so much better. You see. I can turn anything I want from good into evil. And my next target will be the biggest source of light magic in the entire world! The Genie Realm. No! Do that and you'll drown secret light in utter darkness! Ah, well, now you're getting the picture! I'm about to destroy the world as you know it. Have fun of your ill-tempered genie brat. Ta -ta. We can't let her get through with it! We've got to do something! I know what you can do. You can suffer and squirm like the pathetic maggots you are! Wallow in torment forever and oblivion! Shante's turned pure evil! No! Hit the dirt! Die! I'll destroy you all! Die. And that's where we would have left off, 
in episode 16. What in the world happened? But there's a bit more to the story. The dark magic must have overloaded her body. She's been knocked unconscious. What do we do now? Just a moment. Perhaps we can use the opportunity to help Shantae before she wakes up. There, you see that? The dark magic has exploded out of her body. Some force is drawing it back in. Call me crazy, but I bet one of us could enter that vortex and try to rescue her from the inside. Assuming the good Shantae is trapped somewhere in there, one of us could make contact and bring her back. Mister, you are crazy. Even if it works, who knows what evil lurks inside her corrupted mind. If we provoke her, she can destroy us with a single thought. It's worth a shot. I'll go. Ugh, Bolo. No offense, Bolo, but we're trying to save her, not make things worse. Aww. And I suppose you think you should go? Who dad made you, Boss Cow? I should be the one. Uh, Zombie, no way. You're the last person Shantae wants inside her brain. She like it the most because I like her brain the most. Stop it! Stop arguing, you three, or you're going to... No! Wait! Huh? Are we inside her mind? It looks like a storm. <sighs> More like a nightmare. Blast it all, now I'm stuck out here by myself! What am I gonna do if she wakes up? Fend her off of a broom handle? <sighs> Sounds like you kids made it in anyway. Yes, we're here, inside Shantae's mind. I call it the Nightmare Realm. Who cares what you call it? Listen, you've got to find Shantae before it's too late. I like the name Bolo. Right, you can count on me. No way! Hero stuff is my jam! I'm going! I say we split up. You two slow pokes will just get my way. Listen up, you kids! Teamwork! That's the only way you'll be able to help her! By working together! Uh, uh, okay, I guess. I know you can do it! May your bonds of friendship be as strong as steel! Good luck! Yeah, that kind of brings things to light. Shantae is friends of all these characters individually, but I don't think they're usually friends of each other. Now that I think about it. Listen up, kids. To survive Shantae's twisted memories, you three will need to work together as a team. First, let's learn about Bolo. Bolo can fire his spring claw to grab onto pegs. Use the spring claw by pressing X. I'm sure if you're playing like a PS4, it'd be like a triangle or something. Hold up, and he will aim the claw directly upwards. Once Bolo has latched onto the peg, he can swing about freely and jump off any time. Go ahead, give it a shot! So, unlike Pirate Queen Quest, which kind of just throws you into it, this actually gives you a proper tutorial about how to learn to play as all the different characters that you'll be using throughout this mode. Bolo's kind of fun, he has this, uh... I forgot what they just called it, but <laughs> he has this fun little grappling-like hook thing. It usually goes at an angle, but as he said, you can use it to just press up. Bolo can use his melee attack to destroy cracked blocks. Go ahead, smashy smashy! Bolo's melee attack is uh, this. It can actually destroy cracked blocks, so we'll be using him for that. Bolo can grapple onto both pegs and rings. I think it was a grapple peg they called it. When Bull is firing a spring claw, oh, a spring claw, there we go, it will default to a forward angle. This makes it easy to give him a swing back and forth. Shorten the length of the chain by pressing up or down, which I was kind of demonstrating already. With a longer chain, Bull can jump at a greater distance. Give it a try. So the unfortunate thing about this is that you gotta be a little careful. You can get this wind up, and if you get a nice, nice wind up, you can just go whoop. And uh, we'll, <laughs> I don't think that's what they want us to do, but it works. Hey man, whatever works. So that's Bolo. 
We did not learn about one thing about Bolo, but we'll we'll see that in a bit. Next, let's learn about Roddy Tops. Roddy can throw her head through nightmare energy and similar barriers. Press and hold X to put Roddy Tops in the throw mode. Release to toss her head. She'll reform anywhere her head safely lands. Try it out! Roddy has easily the most interesting uh, move in the entire game. Throwing her head! I'm not sure how her body goes down and then reforms under her like that, but hey, that's kind of cool. Roddy Tops can throw her head at any angle to match the situation. Throw at a fixed angle by using the control pad, or free aim by using the left stick. Give it a shot! So yeah, so... This is kind of the only unfortunate thing about this one, is I do like the that there are kind of some set ones if you're using the control pad, but using the stick is a little more kind of... you, you gotta really finick with it a little bit to get to do the thing you want. Additionally, well, it's not mentioned right now, I'll go over it. Riot does have a main attack. She takes off her leg and uses the bat. It's short range, but it's also the strongest attack that you'll have in your arsenal when playing in this mode. Use Roddy's head to toss, uh, head toss to move through soft surfaces such as thin platforms. Please note that you can cancel the throw by pressing any available face button. Good luck. Say so if you want to, you can be like, nope. But we're just gonna do this. Bada boom, bada bing. I don't know. I just really love Roddy's gameplay. To me, is just super hilarious. I love it. Finally, let's learn about Sky. Press X to toss one of Sky's eggs. Press X again while the egg is airborne to hatch a hoverbird for Sky to stand on. If you haven't noticed, this one button correlates to all the special moves that the characters have. Use the special ability to jump across wide gaps. Go ahead and try it. So, just that. Yeah, unfortunately, with Sky, this is probably my least favorite thing, because this is really wonky to get working, because sometimes you'll be like, oh yeah, but then you're like, oh, oops, that's too high. You can't get up there. So, it's really weird that they think you have that angle, in my opinion. When tossing eggs, Sky is to fly to a forward toss. However, holding up allows her to toss vertically. Remember that Sky's bird platforms will not disappear as long as she's standing on them. Go and show off your vertical toss. So as he said, if you want, you can do a vertical one, but again, you gotta kinda time it right. And as he said, yeah, they'll stick around as long as you uh, keep standing on it. None of the characters can crawl like Shantae can. Shantae's crawling ability, I guess, is exclusive to her. Which is unfortunate, because I think these guys will all have cute crawling animations, but oh well. Sky can make longer jumps by using her friend Wrench as a glider. Jump and hold B to glide using Wrench. So, Sky's final ability is this, and this will come in handy in some areas, I'd say. Uh, she's very handy for some of the tougher platforming segments that will be coming along our way. So yeah, pretty lengthy tutorial to kind of give you the full range of their moves, but it's kind of nice as well. Teamwork is often the key to victory. Determine who's best for the job and put the hero to good use. Switch between heroes by pressing ZL and ZR. And so this is now full range of everything. We have all three, and we'll be switching th through them constantly. Obviously, Bull's uh, the f best one to be using right now, so we'll be using him. You cannot switch in the air. You have to be on the ground for it. Sometimes two heroes need to work together. Try making a hoverbird platform using Sky, and have a different hero ride it. So this puzzle to show off your teamwork. So we can also be doing this, like, boom... Bats, get on it, become Roddy, and throw. One last thing, listen closely. Each of you has a special move that consumes dream magic. Don't ask me how I know this, I just know. Bolo can throw bouncing spike balls. Roddy Tops can regain health. Sky can summon protective birds that over her body. Try move the using these moves by pressing A. Good luck and remember, use teamwork! So, as he was saying, Bolo's special move is weird. He just throws this bouncy spike ball over the place. As you can see, their magic meter is on the left right there, right next to their icon and their special item icon. Sky makes this pretty cute, adorable shield that constantly drains. Magic. Riot Tops is the most helpful, because you see that health right there? 
That is all the health we'll get for this mode. Those three hearts. Have fun. Riot Top's ability to regain health is very fantastic. I'm not sure where she's keeping all these brains that she's eating, but uh, that's what she can do. Since we're in a tutorial right now, our magic's not depleting, but you really can only do that, like, twice, if not only once with Riot Top. So her, mo her move uses up a ton of magic, while these guys, not as much. And one last thing is that all their magic meters are separate. Their health is shared, but the magic meters are not. Go figure. So, hello, save guy. We will not save right now. We'll get to see this cutscene right here. I think what? we'll be done for this episode because this is a pretty long one to start with. That was quite the tutorial. Hey. This looks like the other day when Risky Boots attacked. Don't you see? We're inside her mind, so it's only natural that we'll be experiencing her memories. I mean, yes, but how are you going to eat it? You have to eat this whole ocean, this dock. Yeah, like, there's a lot. Like, like, it's not going to work. Ooh, such torture, zombie cruelty. It's like going to an all-you-can-eat buffet with no spoon. Shh, let me think. After I dropped her off, Shantae chased Risky's Tinkerback crewman all over town. I bet it was a distraction so she could swap the blueprints without being seen. And let's hurry. If we're quick, maybe we can keep it from happening. Yeah, then everything will be back to normal. Ugh. You numbskulls. This isn't time travel, you lame brains. Changing the outcome in here won't have any effect on the outside world. The point I'm trying to make is that we know where Shantae will be. Therefore, we can head her off and force a confrontation. <laughs> Just leave the thinking to me, okay? Well, to be fair, you'd want to eat the brain, so uh, isn't it good that she has a healthy thinking brain? Future food. Uh. And hey, Save Guy again. I guess Save Guy shows up in her memories too. That's that's nice. We're gonna actually end the episode off here. So thank you all very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Shantae Half Genie Hero. Friends to the end! If you like this video, please consider hitting that like button below. If you want some more content from me, please consider subscribing. This is going on concurrently with the other kind of uh, mode that will be going on in the storyline right now, which is Pirate Queen's Quest. They're updating on an interchangeable day basis as of right now, unless this is like the super future, in which case, uh, you can just watch whatever video you want, but just let you know as of this recording. And if you liked it, you know, That'd be nice, subscribe and all that good stuff. But if you like is what you see as far as the game goes, please pick up Shantae Half Genie Hero. It's available on PC, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. This particular mode is actually DLC that you'd have to get if you have the base version of the game. However, if you have the Ultimate Edition, you could get this from the get-go, which would be awesome, because then you'd be ready to go. So, hope you give way forward your support and pick up this fantastic game. Otherwise, please have a wonderfully great day, and I will see you all in the next one. Until then, ciao!